wild part.
the 2022 undergraduate commencement of Bentley University is called to order. I call Professor Iris Bergerill, ceremonial marshal, to guide these commencement exercises. Thank you, President Kreit. Good morning, everyone. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that this ceremony is being live streamed on the Bentley University website and inside the Dana Center if you would like to avoid the weather. If able, please rise for the invocation and remain standing for the performance of America the Beautiful by member of the class of 2022, Nicholas Barbosa and the Boston Brass Ensemble. Lyrics may be found on page 25 of the program. Please consider removing your cap. It is our practice to invite a member of the Spiritual Life team to offer an invocation at this time. Representing the team today is Reverend Dr. Robin J. Olson, Director of the Spiritual Life Center at Bentley University. Maya Angelou wrote, we all should know that diversity makes for a rich tapestry and we must understand that all the threads of the tapestry are equal in value no matter their color. We come together this morning as a beautiful Bentley tapestry dressed in regalia and refinement. You cleaned up good. <laughs> And we are blessed with diverse religious and spiritual and family traditions. On this fine day, we know that we are woven together, interconnected in joy and pride for our class of 2022. Students, soon to be graduates, in candor though, you have experienced an unraveling of the world's tapestry during your undergraduate years, painful ruptures of COVID, of racial injustice, of identity targeted violence. It has been my privilege to journey alongside you and you have inspired and amazed me for you have raised your voices, stood up for each other and leveraged your skills to stitch back together a beautiful world. And so in this amazing moment, I invite you to bring your full selves, be fully present to all the threads of glory, to all the threads of bittersweet change, to inhale and exhale, exhaling is always good to be mindful of all that you know to be holy. And in that same spirit, at the conclusion of the prayer, there will be a pause so we each might, in our own family or spiritual tradition, a movement of the heart, each may pray. Let us reflect and pray together. Gracious and loving creator, still small voice of our hearts, we give praise on this day of celebration as we rejoice in the accomplishments of our graduating students. We give thanks for the knowledge they have gained, for the challenges they have overcome, and for the quality of character they have forged. We are grateful for amazing friendships made in res halls and athletic courts and classrooms and boardrooms. We offer thanks for the wisdom of faculty and staff who have mentored our students of the class of 2022. And we give thanks to President Kreit braiding new strengths into our tapestry. As people who have come this far by the faith of our families and friends, we humbly say thank you to them for loving us so well. And even now, we remember the champions of our lives who have passed away, and with gratitude, we name them silently. Mm -hmm. 
We remember them and we give thanks for all of those who have served as repairers of the breach, knitting us together in faith, hope, and love. So we recall Bentley beloveds who kept us safe, who cared for our health, COVID test by COVID test, who fed us meals, who cleaned our buildings, who tended our spirits. Our tapestry is tested and true. And finally, as our graduates cross the stage today, ignite with them a passion to share their gifts for the healing and harmony of this world. Send them forth in a blanket of your protection as they step bravely into the future with compassion and love. In the name of all we call holy, we give thanks, each in our own way. Amen. to the podium, the ninth president of Bentley University, E. LeBrent Kreit. Esteemed honoree Valerie Mosley, members of the board of trustees, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, families, and friends, it is my distinct honor to welcome you to the 103rd undergraduate commencement exercises at Bentley University. We are glad to have you here with us together today. And to the class of 2022, congratulations and welcome to your special day. Since you first gathered as a class four years ago, getting to this moment was your collective goal. Today is a culmination and the celebration of your years of hard work. I want to give a special welcome to today's graduates. I also want to acknowledge, as I know you do, those who supported you during this journey. Would you please join me in thanking your friends, your colleagues, but most especially your families for their support and guidance during your time with us at Bentley University. Right. 
This is an especially auspicious celebration. You all are the first class to cross this commencement stage in three years. During that time, the world we knew has changed profoundly, and so have each of you. And that's not entirely surprising. You're meant to change during your time as a student. But the class of 2022 especially has experienced profound change. Halfway through your second year on campus, the world as we knew it abruptly stopped. And all I will say about this period is that you all supported and protected one another in every sense. Your life changed, and you changed the lives of others. And now you made it to the finish line, and we are very, very proud of each of you. As you know, this is my first commencement. As you know, this is my first commencement at Bentley University as president. I came to Bentley because of my belief in the power of business and the marketplace and because of my belief that Bentley University has no interest in educating the mind at the expense of the heart. I came to Bentley because I appreciate that the education here challenges students to recognize and harness the openness, the unpredictability, the complexity, and ultimately the value that capitalism can bring around the world. But most of all, I came to Bentley because of my belief in you and in your ability to go out and make a positive and lasting contribution to the world. You have set new benchmarks for what can be expected from a Bentley student. You were there for one another when times were tough, and you remained steadfast in your pursuit of knowledge, not letting isolation or quarantine impact your responsibilities in or out of the classroom. I can think of no more deserving group to honor and celebrate in our first commencement back to campus than you, class of 2022. You have proven that you were up to the task and you should be proud of how you have succeeded in the face of so many extraordinary challenges. I speak for each professor, staff member, and administrator at this university when I say that Bentley is proud to have you as a member of our community. And our hope is that as you progressed at Bentley, you realized the transformational possibilities that result from sustained exposure to differing points of view. We have intentionally exposed you to experiences and ideas that will enable you to discern between what is right and what is easy, and to recognize with the privilege of the education that you've just received comes a responsibility to a greater good. As William Allen, the former chancellor of the Delaware Court of Chancery, some years ago stated, and I quote, one of the hallmarks of a truly dominant intellectual paradigm is the difficulty people have in even imagining an alternative point of view. I hope that as you transition from Bentley that you will at least on occasion imagine such an alternative worldview, and more importantly, your role in creating it. We accept, of course, at Bentley, the premise that doing well and doing good are quite intuitively aligned. I want to share one more, one more thought. There's a speech 
the late Stephen Covey, gave at a ceremony at Marquette University many years ago, not unlike this one. And in that speech, he included three sentences that still seem to me profound. He said, and I quote, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space lies our freedom and our power to choose our response. In our response lies the keys to our growth and our happiness, end quote. So while the cognitive psychologists among us might disagree, we are neither fundamentally a product of nature or nurture. We are fundamentally a product of our choices to both nature and nurture, and we can decide deep within ourselves what represents our own true north. Class of 2022, I hope that as you transition from Bentley that you too will have the privilege to create your own magic that stirs the souls of others and that in doing so you will find your own true north. We are endlessly and deeply proud of you and we will watch with great anticipation to see the powerful impact you will have on the amazing groups of people with whom you come in contact and in your work ahead. Congratulations and please enjoy this day. I now call I now call President Kreit to preside over the presentation and conferring of an honorary degree. I call Tanya Hairston Whitner, class of 1995 and member of the Bentley Board of Trustees to present Valerie Mosley for conferral of an honorary degree. Valerie Mosley, skilled investment advisor, fierce advocate for financial well-being, fervent believer in the individual's power to improve the world, we are proud to confer upon you today the honorary degree of Doctor of Commercial Science. <laughs> to whom much is given, much is expected. Those words have served as your lifetime roadmap, pledge, and inspiration. An early opportunity to open minds arrived to you on the campus of Duke University in 1978. As a first year history major from Tuskegee, Alabama, you discovered that many classmates had never met a black person before. You stepped up to organize the campus on race relations and later to serve as student body president and vice president. Your analytical mind found its perfect match in the field of finance in a career that includes 20 years at Wellington Management Company, where you managed billions of dollars for individual clients while taking careful stock of emerging data and trends. Your insights shaped investment strategies, company, and nationwide. In 2012, you had clients' loyalty, colleagues, respect, and a perennial place on lists such as the 50 most powerful women in business. But every instinct said you were meant to change more lives for the better. You founded Valmo Ventures in advance to advance companies and causes that add value for investors and society. Heart Beings is a blog that shares inspiring stories and builds community around loving oneself and others. Your FinTech platform, Upward Wealth, puts financial well-being in reach for all sectors of society. You routinely take to the stage to share lessons from another of your roles. 
mother of three, with energy and optimism, you draw parallels managing money and managing life. The relationship of a net worth and self-worth. We are eager to be similarly inspired. Therefore, by virtue of the authority vested by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and by the Bentley University Board of Trustees, we confer upon you, Valerie Mosley, the degree Doctor of Commercial Science, honoris causa. We hold it both an honor and a privilege to do so. I now call upon Valerie Mosley to deliver the commencement address. Thank you. Good morning. How is everyone today? What a joy and an honor to share this moment with you. I'm going to start this moment as I try to every moment with gratitude and recognizing what went well. First, President Kreit, his wife Phyllis, the Board of Trustees, I thank you for inviting me to be your speaker and for bestowing me with this honor. Thank you. I'd like to recognize the parents and the family members. Without your love and support, we wouldn't be here celebrating your loved ones. I'd like to thank my family, who's here in per who are here in person and virtually. That support is so incredibly important. I'd like to thank the Bentley employees, be you the faculty member or the facility cleaner, the one who serves the food or who helps with admissions. Each of your roles have played an important part in making this university great. And now to the fellow graduates. Congratulations, you did it! You did it. <laughs> yes. I, like your parents, was so proud of you. Your hard work, your, your ethic, your work ethic, and ultimately your belief got you here today. You were graduating from, as I've done my research, the number four, the fourth best undergraduate school for business. The second best regional school and the number one in managerial economics, in accounting, in business, and in marketing, and the number one career service. Well done, well done. I was happy to learn also a little bit about you, that you don't only care about doing well financially, you also want to do well and have an impact in the world. Is that correct? Yes. So when I think of that, it sounds as if you want to be comprehensively wealthy. So what I thought I'd do today is to give you one last class. And this class will be a mini class. Call it Val Mosley's master class on how you can design your comprehensively wealthy life sustainably, generationally, where you can have that purpose that you want for yourself, that profit, and the impact. Sound good? And I'm going to do my best to bring to you everything that I've learned personally and professionally. So yes, I will bring some parallels between managing money that apply to managing life quite well and running businesses well in light of the history of this great university. First, it's all about you. I want to focus on you, the first part. And parents, this little class is free. It's going to be quick, and it's free. <laughs> so the first um, 
section is the most important, and that is you. You matter. And when you're in finance, there's this concept of know your client. It's called KYC. I think you should make sure that you know yourself really well. Not only know yourself, honor what it is that you know. And why is this important? So in my teaching, I'm going to give you the what, the why, and if I can, the how. Why is this important? Because when you know yourself, you're going to know when is it that your spirit sings. And then just as importantly, when is it that it wilts? Because you create your benchmark. And your benchmark is, what does success look like for you? Not your mother, not your father, not your aunt, your loved ones, but what does success look like for you? Because you're going to be making those decisions. As President Kreit mentioned earlier, it's about the choice that you make. So honor what you know about you. But I would extend that message from knowing yourself to loving yourself. Yes, this is, a ch this is one of the most important things you can do. We're here in Mental Health Awareness May month. The extent to which you love yourself will make all the difference in the world. And when I look out here, I see, and I'm reminded of young birds ready to leave this institutional nest, this academic nest. And what you do in terms of the extent to which you love yourself, trust me, it will be the wind beneath your wings when you're down as well as when you're up. And not only should you love yourself daily, and what does that look like? Think about if you fall in love with someone, you're going to be supportive of them. You'll be encouraging. You'll be kind. So are you quick to criticize or are you quick to show compassion? This will matter because trust me when I tell you, you're going to be coming into places where outside of yourself you will be challenged. But imagine if the most powerful energy in the world, which is love, surrounds and envelops you and helps you to fly to wherever you want to go. You also want to know your worth. This too is extraordinarily important because your worth is what you believe. Because even if you have the skills, even if you have the capability, if you don't believe it, you will not try it. So how do you get that worth? And I say this because one of the things I did at Wellington is I chaired the firm's industry strategy group. We would look out at what are some really powerful trends. Ladies and gentlemen, young classmates of mine, there's a huge trend around depression. And during COVID, it's gone up over 30%. The number one leading cause of suicide with people from 14 to 35, excuse me, the number one co second cause, leading cause of death, excuse me, let me say that again, the second leading cause of death for kids that are uh, ages 10 to 14 up to 35 is suicide. It's, it's remarkable. And at the end of the day, often that's because they aren't feeling worthy. And so I want to say here today that your worth is not a function of only your success. And when you love yourself, you're loving yourself without condition. It's not, worth is not a function of uh, your mistakes. You are not what happened to you and you are not what you haven't done yet. It's what you believe and what you choose to do going, choose to do going forward. You can, <laughs> right? It's okay. Because part of this first lesson is to be still and to know. So what do you do in the silent moments? Science says that 80% of our thoughts are negative. So we have to be intentional with having more thoughts that are less negative. So part of the assignment that I give you in this class, you can do any time throughout life. You can do with a loved one. You can do with your family. And that is to make a list of how do you take care of yourself. If you're loving yourself, you're going to value yourself. Make a list of what little things can you do that take, allows you to take care of yourself. What things that when you do it, your spirit sings. Make a list. Just like when you meet with your financial advisor, they will tell you that you need to have a reserve, a savings reserve. You need to have a reserve of things that you can tap into so that when things are difficult, you will go to taking care of yourself because you know that you're worthy, you know that you're valuable. The second lesson is around awareness. So if you're going to be a leader of any business, a leader of any effort, nonprofit or otherwise, you're, you tend to analyze 
What are revenues minus expenses to get your net income? What are your assets minus your liabilities to get your net worth? What is your self-esteem minus your self-doubt to get to your self-worth? And when you're becoming aware, I ask you to become aware without judgment of where you are and specifically start with the things that get in the way. So you want to build your wealth? Let's go to your liabilities. Take a look at the cost of your debt. And what does that debt cost in the APR, annual percentage, uh, uh, annual percentage rate? And for many of us, credit rates are quite high. I discovered a fact that 75% of young people leaving college mess up their credit within the first year. <laughs> 75%, so let's be mindful and aware of what it is that you need to spend money on and what things cost. You also want to be mindful of these other liabilities that are extraordinarily expensive, like not believing and having self-doubt. Another really powerful one is shame. So I don't know if you've ever done something that you aren't really proud of. Sometimes you hide it. It's costly. In action, like inflation, which is really high right now, both devalue your money or they'll devalue you. So when you look and you name at the things that get in your way, science says you separate that event and that activity from yourself. So write it down. What is it that gets in the way of what I want? Because ladies and gentlemen, what I've learned is that most of what you want is on the other side of fear. It's on the other side of doubt. It's on the other side of I don't know if I can. And if we name it and start working on refinancing, let's pivot our mindset, pivot our messages. And how do we go about doing that? Note each day what went well and why. It's, science has said this is the most important number one tool and task you can do. Let's write down every day what went well today and why. And subconsciously, you'll be able to pay attention and see more of the positive, less of the negative. You'll understand, yes, I had a choice in that matter. That's why that went well. And then tomorrow I can do the same thing. And before you know it, it's like the little baby birds, the wings are getting a little dry and you can start to get ready to fly. And you want to do something each day. Now that you are aware of your benchmark, you're aware of what your goals are. It's embedded in your benchmark. You're also aware now of your liabilities, so you know also your gates. You know your goals, you know your gates. Now is the time to act in alignment with your values and your value, the third part of the class. And how do you do that? Science has shown if you can visualize your future self, you're more likely to do things today because you don't want to disappoint that future self. So visualize what is it that your future self wants. And today, do something that will make him or her quite proud and saying thank you to you. When you're acting, you're choosing. You want to increase those investments, and you want to increase the revenue that you have. And that increasing investing in assets is not just the real estate. It's not only the stocks and the bonds, and you want to do that because, ladies and gentlemen, if you put away $160 a month, by the time you retire, you'll have over a million dollars. It's crazy. Just $160 a month, $40 a week. Surely you can maybe not have the extra meal or buy the shoe. If you just invest it for you regularly, it's because of the power of compounding interest, and many of you know this probably because you're here, but most don't, you can become a millionaire much sooner than you think. And I would say that you not only want to compound interest, you want to compound self-love and self-care. So what investments do you make in your habits each day? What do you say to yourself in terms of your mindset each day? How do you reinforce what you know is good about you every day? And they're simple things. You can look at someone and you can smile. You can help somebody else out. They're simple asset-boosting, revenue-generating actions that you can take that will add to that comprehensive wealth. 
The fourth section comes to probably the second most important class that I want to give you. And it is around drawdowns and rebounds. So when you're managing money, what comes with territory is disappointment. The market is going to crash. Things and disappointments are going to happen. Just know that it comes. But the question is, what do you do when that happens? When it's painful, when somebody leaves you, when your parents do something, your father does something, your mother, your sister, your loved one rejects you. Whatever the disappointment is, I am confident in telling you that there is opportunity in adversity. And you have to be able to see it. So when you're managing money, yes, the market crashes. The mirror image of that is that the market's on sale. Yes, you got fired from this job. The opposite of that is, you know what, you can rethink and say maybe that wasn't a fit for me. So when disappointment comes, what you see in the midst of that storm is magical because that is where the returns are the greatest. Just keep that in mind. The fifth and final class is that we started with it's all about you, it, it, that, that, that it begins, this process begins with you and you are so important, but I want to say it is not all about you. And bring to your attention because of the history of this institution and spirituality that like income, giving is so incredibly important and you will feel so much better if what you do matters not only to yourself, but also to others. So when you get on the plane and people tell you to put on your oxygen mask, what they don't tell you is that you have eight seconds. And if you don't do that, you will not be in a position to help someone else. So yes, we might start with you. But what brings so much joy is knowing that what you're doing matters for you and your family. And I love the fact that you care also about making a difference in the world, because that matters to me. And so I told you I would tell you what. I would also like to tell you the how and the why. So the why for me is that um, I grew up in Philadelphia, and what's not on my resume is that I didn't always feel good about myself, and I didn't always love myself. So I'm the youngest of four, and around the time of about 11, um, my mother's stepfather started to constantly tell me how much he loved me. But then he would proceed to start to abuse me. So here's the first man that says, I love you, I love you, I love you but I'm going to abuse you. And it was really hard. And so from the time of 11 to 15, I hid that. And we were involved. But the hiding went on until I was 35 years old, 34. I was pregnant with my youngest daughter. And I finally told my mom. And I can tell you that those things that happen that are outside of your control, that disappointment, it hurts. And it questions your worth, because you can feel like you're a bad person, and you aren't. So I started off with this discussion about the power of love. It's unconditional, it's without condition, and the importance of knowing that you're worthy, regardless of what happens. You aren't what happened to you. So when I started to fall in love with who I am, as I am, imperfections and all, then I just blossomed. My wings started to grow. And I can make choices because I started to believe that it was, things were possible. And that's why I want to leave you with this notion that you young, strong, beautiful birds can fly as high as you want to fly. This is why I want to encourage you today and for always and forever to love yourself. And that's what fly is, F-L-Y, forever love yourself. Because when you do that, the sky is truly the limit. You can be yourself. What was that? What did he say? <laughs> One more time. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. He said that was awesome. <laughs> And that's the thing, think about taking, think about hiding your hurts and, and feeling less than. When you feel less than, you won't try. You won't try, and I learned that it doesn't always start with you. My mother had similar experiences, and I didn't know it until she was 
sick with cancer and we started to talk and I realized she had those challenges too. And so you are not what happened to you. Instead, you are what you believe you can be and what, ladies and gentlemen, you repeatedly try and do. So if you have a goal and in between you and this goal are doubts, like face the doubts. How do you do that? Get an accountability partner and say, yes, I believe in you. I see you. This is possible. And then each day, invest in those habits. And you want to compound that unconditional love and the action that takes you towards those goals because it's incredible and that you aren't the only one who has struggled or who's had a loss. And that's why I've decided that I'm devoting the rest of my life to making sure that people understand how they can build their self-worth and to build their net worth. It's within reach. And I don't know what it is that, it, that you want to do, but I am confident that you can do it. You are capable. And ladies and gentlemen, fly, class of 22, fly. Thank you, Ms. Mosley. I now call the president of the senior class cabinet, Ms. Erin Buckmeyer, a member of the class of 22, to offer a graduate reflection. Good morning, family, friends, faculty, staff, trustees, President Kreit, and most importantly, the undergraduate class of 2022. It is an honor to be standing here today representing the 2022 graduates. To my fellow soon-to-be Bentley alumni, I want you to think of a memory from freshman year where you were maybe a little bit lost or uncertain. Take a few seconds and now think about where you are in this moment sitting among your peers and how different your life is today. Most importantly, think about how much you have grown as a person since that point and how each moment has brought you here today as a graduating Bentley student. I think about how in our orientation, I looked around to my group and wondered if I would ever make a true friend. But now I'm standing here today with some of my closest friends who will soon cross this stage to complete their journey at Bentley. Bentley University has a reputation as an incredible business school, one that provides students with an abundance of opportunities from internships and job placements to, so to social experiences and ways to make new lifelong friends. Our class is no exception. I know that each of my fellow graduates will find success in whatever path they take. However, we have offered so much more to the Bentley community than our employment status. We became the orientation leaders to welcome new classes of students, RAs, FYS peer leaders, leaders of our respective organizations, and everything in between. We have been the students to advocate for racial justice on campus, gender equity, and many important changes necessary for all students and the entire Bentley community. Now I can't talk about the many successes of the class of 2022 that we have had over the past four years without mentioning one thing that many of us wish we could forget. After hearing for months on end phrases such as uncertain times, all we wanted for our senior year was a somewhat precedented experience. In our time at Bentley, we experienced new administrations, the change from Russo's to Harry's, the Duncan move, the revival of the Harvard shuttle, and an the addition of a new sorority, just to name a few, all topped off with a global pandemic. Though I, like many of you, am grateful to have experienced many, many Bentley senior traditions this year, our experience was by no means traditional. Despite the many changes we experienced and the year and a half we largely spent entirely apart, we came back together for our final year. We started the year with our last first day of classes, we celebrated the mark to 100 days to this very moment in our, one of our favorite places, Harry's Pub. 
We savored the end of the semester with a boat cruise, a Red Sox game, shared a lovely toast with President Kreit, and embarked on an incredible trip to the Bahamas, and came together one last time last night for the Falcon finale, which was truly that, a finale. We may not remember the last night we had before spring break in 2020, because we weren't aware it'd be our last night together as sophomores. But this year, we had the privilege of knowing these were the last moments we would share together. At the beginning of the year, I could feel the shared sentiment of our class and having our class had of doing everything to soak in the last moments. We chose to make the small memories matter because we know those are the moments that add up to an extraordinary experience. We will be able to look back at the GB Saturdays, green space days, and even fighting for a seat in the dining hall and know we made the most of our time here. We would not be standing here today without the support of faculty and staff at Bentley and our personal support systems. Like many students, I owe an incredible amount to the administrators, professors, and staff. You have been a significant reason as to why I wake up each day thankful to be a Bentley student and wholeheartedly call this place home. I am incredibly thankful to my parents who supported every step I took along the way. I am thankful for my fellow class cabinet members that have dedicated so much to bringing incredible campus experiences to our peers. However, at the end of the day, we must give ourselves credit for our resiliency and determination. We have all had different paths on how we chose to come to Bentley. I know deep down that Bentley University was the place for me, even if I was scared to make that final decision. My dad, however, knew from the first day I toured campus and put a sweatshirt on in the bookstore that Bentley University would become home. No matter how we all got here, on August 22, 2018, we came together as the class of 2022. My final request before we graduate today is that you all join me in celebrating one another. During our first few days at Bentley, a very special speaker, Ed Garrity, told us a story about what he called a lollipop moment. In case you don't remember, this moment is one when a person does a small act of kindness or something that seemed insignificant. But to you, that moment made a world of difference. I ask you to think about what that moment was for you in the past four years and share it with that person before you leave today. Thank you all for giving me four years of wonderful lollipop moments. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, Erin. I now call Interim Provost Rick Okus to the podium to offer remarks and congratulations on behalf of the faculty and to announce the 2022 Faculty Awards. Well, thank you so much, Erin. What inspiring words. And, and thank you also, Dr. Mosley. So great to have you here with us today. So greetings and congratulations again, Class of 2022. It's really great to be here on campus to celebrate your accomplishments that have been four years in the making, four very complicated years in the making. But you've accomplished a great deal at Bentley in your time here, but I really want to acknowledge that, as Aaron acknowledged as well, you didn't do this alone. In addition to the, the families behind you, your friends, the support networks, our dedicated faculty of teachers, scholars, have really helped you get you to this special place through years of guidance, of instruction and mentoring, and their support. So I'd like to recognize the faculty who are here with us today. Would all members of the Bentley faculty please stand? <laughs> So as part of our celebration here today, I am pleased to share that four faculty members were recently recognized for their academic excellence and dedication to our students. So as I announce these awards, would each recipient please stand when your name is read? First, we have the, the Gregory H. Adamian Award for Excellence in Teaching, it was presented to both Kiana Pierre-Louis, Senior Lecturer in Law and Taxation, and to Lynn Wolf, Lecturer in Accounting. <laughs> Now we're also pleased to announce outstanding scholarship by our faculty. 
So the 2022 Bentley University Award for Excellence in Scholarship was presented to Gopal Krishnan, Professor of Accounting. And finally, the Joseph M. Cronin Award for Excellence in Academic Advising and Mentoring was presented to Betsy Stoner, Assistant Professor of Natural and Applied Sciences. <laughs> Bentley's pleased to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of these outstanding members of our faculty. I now call Interim Provost Ocus and Dean Andrew Shepherdson to present the candidates for graduation and to preside over the awarding of the degrees. So during today's ceremony, we acknowledge the deserving undergraduate students who have fulfilled their degree requirements. You all have demonstrated the ability and determination to claim the academic, rich, uh, academic rich recognition you so richly deserve. In just a few moments, you'll join the approximately 67,000 members of the Bentley alumni community who have gone on to do great things. This opens the door to many opportunities for you. Starting now, we will begin to announce the graduates from Bentley University's Class of 2022. So joining me will be President Kreit and Dean Shepherdson. To expedite these proceedings, please hold your applause until the names of all the candidates have been read. For everyone's security and comfort, please keep the aisles clear and do not approach the stage to take pictures because it will block the view of others. As noted in your program, a professional photographer is taking pictures of each graduate while they walk across the stage. Aaron Lynn Buckmeyer. <laughs> Hannah Irene Denning. Nathan Owen Duplessis. Ella Louise Hillier. Branford Kanagawa. Daniel Dijani Cote. Harrison Isaac Weiss. Nicholas Alexander Barbosa. Isabella Rose Burrell. Annie Xu. Isabella L. Barrios. Rebecca Elizabeth Berry. Rahul Bojwani. Carly Page Bacone. Sara Valentina Buitrago Montoja. Cole Mackenzie Campbell. Nicholas Phi Tsao. 
Ariana Despina Carroll. Yuki Chang. Aiden Michael Kremens. Andre Dobrinin. Caleb Warren Hooper Dorf. Jason Frederick Eichner. Benjamin Farfel. Andrew Fay. Camila Micah Fernandez Noguchi. Eduardo Franco Saucedo. Cameron Grace. Thomas Hagen. Sukhvinder Singh Hare. Owen Tyler Harnish. Matthew Hauserman. Gabriela Yafira Hernandez Arias. Lindy Elizabeth Heil. Christopher Adam Hobin. Nick Arlette Jeffrey. Hannah Jorzak. Ryan H. Judge. Griffin Rogenstein Kosla. G Sun Sally Kim. Victor Craddock. Sophia Labarca Stainsapir. Olivia Ann Lane. Yi Liang Li. Zhou Wen Li. Randy Blasidio Li. Ian Riley McDougall. Rona Abigail Mejeritsky. Ed Joshua Hankulata Mindanao. Alina Valerievna Minkova. Javier Andres Miranda Gonzalez. Emma Marie Morlang. Edward Musheev. Nishant Nagalia. Reagan Pearl Oliver. Yu Shi Liu. Amanda Page Parker. Rodian Patlas. Elise Catherine Pereira. Rashmi Rajesh. Julianne Elizabeth Rando. Sophia Sarnataro. Shulagra Shah. Miles Daniel Shaheen. Allison Ann Shirley. Taryn Hennessy Stoller. Shania M. Theodore. Carrie Ann Tracy. Leah Tufts. Itala Vivas Saravia. Yi Fan Wong. Ethan R. Wilds. 
Lauren Yakabon. Kin Miet No U. Stanley Maurice Abo Mizrachi. Sara Margot Berenguer. Nicholas Acevedo. Gavin Joseph Conway. Paul Isaac Laskowski. Brody Scott McPherson. Lindsay Nicole Morgan. Aitana Asio. Lucy Catherine Slow. Julia Towers. Hugo Compare. Naki Abbas. Laith Abdul Jawad. Ramsey Abdul Rahim. Avi Abawardani. Bader A. Abu Hijlay. Ben William Adams. Jasir Addo. Nolan Peter Airy. Treasure Chimdalu Ayuola Afalayan. Chinway Kimberly Abazwe. Porter Kiros Agnew. Matthew R. Agri. Rhea Ahuja. Aditi Ajwani. Paige Alexander. Bade Alfulaj. Abdullah Mohammed Abdullah Abdaharim Al Harmudi. Okay. Abdullah Rakan H. Al Harthi. Chelsea Ali. Salman bin Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa. Olivia Allen. Sarah Allah Aldin Mosba El Masri. Mariam Y. J. Y. Alabaid. Ayan S. Ahmed. Eli Alamanis. Najiba Al Sakaf. Marlene Alvarez. Adria Ambolino Perez. Guillerme Amoedo de Sa. David B. Amoroso. Rachel Elizabeth Anderson. Amanda Danielle Andriano. Filipos Andrikopoulos. Matthew Angstreich. Quanica Aulani. Samantha Gail Applebaum. Niveta Aravindan. Caitlin Shea Arce. Olivia Ardini. John Francis Arnold. Aaron Ehrenstein. Jake Austin Aronson. Abir Asar. Catherine Ann Shaley Acero. 
Dennis Asadulayev. Michael Richard Atardo. Seku Umar Ba. Victoria Page Bacon. Jared Bailey. Elias Guillermo Bajadas. Anurag Balaji. Christopher Francis Balboni. Benjamin Baldassaro. Michael Anthony Baldwin. Austin Ray Ballard. Hannah Marie Balu. Christian Jose Barcelo Bathory. Alexander Robert Berenbaum. Samuel Isaac Barlia. Skyler Corinne Barron. Bailey Geneve Bartel. Pietro Hussey Battaglia. John Ellsworth Bean. Emma Christine Beckinsall. Caroline Jean Bagiri. Brendan James Bean. Yvonne Behar Haskey. Elizabeth J. Beat. Jacob Barrett Belanger. Sarah Bellantoni. Jamie Elizabeth Bellows. David H. Bellorian. Anthony Roger Benitez. Nicholas Benkemoon. Casey Royston Bennett. Gabrielle James Benson Clark. Ella Bentley. Michael Berman. Amanda Idalina Betancourt. Roberto Enrique Biaggi Hege. Priscilla Elena Bebo. Samantha Marie Billado. Rhea Bindra. Ryan Patrick Birch. Elizabeth Ann Bishop. Brandon Jeremy Black. Rebecca Maria Blakely. Dwayne Blishy III. David Bonnet. William Michael Bopp. Alice Bosque. Colby James Pereira Botello. Colleen Beauchard. Caroline May Boudreau. Jack Allen Borassa. Harrison Bourgeois. Benjamin Bourget. Emma Grace Bushy. Ethan John Bouillet. Isabel Bowden. Alexander Michael Bozick. Patrick James Bradshaw. Emily Branch. Jalen Rayshawn Branch. Kari Brecky. Hunter William Brewster. Alexis Barbara Brissett. Brendan Thomas Brogan. 
Nathan Killian Browers. Alyssa Christine Brown. Amanda Kathleen Brown. Tabitha Darren Brown. Daniel Jack Bitesh Bitesh. Ashlyn Aaron Bucci. Alexander Douglas Bucci. Lily Bueller. Anastasia Buyaji. Dylan Thomas Burkhalter. Shannon Therese Bushy. Owen Patrick Busser. Jennifer Butka. Daniel James Butler. Maxwell Caggiano. Francisco Castanos. Alexander S. Kaliri. Julia Catherine Kalos. Erica Joyce Campbell. Haley Lynn Carangelo. Courtney Marie Carey. Francis Joseph Carney V. Jacob Thomas Carrick. Brooke Ellen Carver. Maria Belin Castillo Fiani. Colton Lawrence Cavanaugh. Stephen Lewis Sarah. Alan William Chase. Ashley Hope Chadbourne. Logan Robert Shalafor. Mary Elizabeth Chambers. Leonardo Chan. Sakshi Ritesh Chandalia. Benjamin Chang. Oscar Chang. Wild Chang. Fernando Ivan Chaparro. Joseph Alexander Chow. Amy Chen. Bian Fei Chen. Jessica Chen. Kelly Chen. Ke Yi Chen. Marina Chen. Yi Chen Chen. Ji Ying Chen. Kiera Ji Lan Cheng. Katrina Chiang. Mei Li Cherry. James Paul Chutkowski. Brendan Chow. Brian Michael Chula. Nicholas Richard Chuturansky. Dominic Cirillo. Giovanni Joseph Cirillo. Meta Clarissa. Alexander Peter Clark. Shailen Bree Clark. Brighton Lee Clifford. Julia Ann Cochran.
Corey Adam Cohan. Bennett Ryan Cole. Isaiah David Collins. <laughs> Alexandra Chen Hong Condren. Megan Ashley Connors. Christopher John Consiglio. Isabella Contessi. Alyssa Elizabeth Cook. James Joseph Cook. Liliana Cook. Laurel Ann Coombs. Yamilet Cortez. Jacob Seraphim Costa. Kevin Stephen Costello. Aiden Michael Cotter. Colton Catone. Lindsay Kathleen Kumo. Sarah Medici Cotino. Juliana Gabrielle Covelli Schneider. Aaron Charles Kraft. Eliza Christine Crane. Daniel Robert Kranich. Patrick Joseph Crimmins, Jr. William Michael Crotty. Kayla Marie Crowning Shield. Mirza Kulov. Adriana Maria Kiriel Ginnand. Devin Curtis. John Michael Cusack. Nicholas Zelowitz. Michael John D'Agostino. William Dahlquist. Allison E. Dalton. Maria Daly. Ryan P. Daly. Brendan James D'Amadio. Richard Joseph D'Amelio. James Alexander Danielli. Andrew Song Danolfo. 
Emily Ann DePonta. Cedric Allen Daschel II. Prachi Smita Deve. Nicholas Carlos David. Chase Elizabeth Davies. Alberto Pio Davila. Giselle Pilar de Mula Curi. Paula Isabelli de Oliveira. Julia DeBase. Isabella Bonnie Dykeman. Matthew F. Delamater. Ryan Brooke Delfini. Amanda Christine Delacoli. Riley Joseph DeManch. Stephen DiMatteo. Rebecca DeMello. Sean Christopher DeMerit. Ethan Dureris. Nathaniel DeRolis. Andrew DeSantis. Olivia A. DeShane. Chloe Ann Desjardins. Consavon De Udom. Kira Darney. Christian Diaz. Damon Reese DeBurro. Kirsten DiNardo. Rebecca A. Dion. Matthew DeRico. Nicholas Robert DeShulo. Mimi Duan. Sarah Michelle Donnellan. Christopher Daniel Donny. Kayla Ann Donovan. Deanna Ruth Dobson. Elijah H. H. Dorf. Nicholas John Doris. Jackson Xavier Downs. Nolan Richard Driscoll. Colin William Dreif. Isabella Duarte. Thomas Paul Dugan. Habib Dukuli. Remy Joseph Dumont. Aoife Bridget Dunphy. Tung Kwong Duong. Larissa Audrey Dusso.
Bridget Edgerly. Uzo Amezier Edozier. Shaquana M. Edwards. Omar Ashraf Elbana. Kyle Elkill. Max Randolph Erickson. Nicholas Tanner Ator. Leah Patricia Eusebio Suribas. Megan Everett. Christian Michael Fabry. Nicholas Frank Faber. Landon L. Fagel. Thomas Joseph Fallon. Avelia Arlene Ferris. Yara Faisal. Michael Anthony Femps. Antonio Rafael Fernandez. Michael Labienu Ferreira. Caroline Camden Finley. Michael Nicholas Fiore. Christine Maria Fish. Jared Fissa. Jack Ryan Fitzgerald. Ronan Joseph Fitzpatrick. Blake Thomas Flaherty. Paul Joseph Flanagan. Ariella Fleischer. Courtney Ga Ning Flynn. Thomas Edward Foley. Michael James Flynn. Michael Jonathan Fuchsen. Michael Charles Ford. Jose Antonio Ferranda. Christian Anthony Frazier. Jack Tevia Friedman. Alexandra Elizabeth Frontino. Marcus Patrick Four. Matthew James Furlong. Peter Paul Gagne. Malena Anna Gallo. Gian Ganchi. Taylor Rochelle Gangi. Shang Gao. Xiao Fan Gao. Gabi Garcia Valacios. Natalia Garcia. William Patrick Guerin. Tanmai Gaberneni.
Margaret Ray Gazda. Gabrielle Gaetano. Frederick Milton Gelman. Samir Khandur. Marco Emilio Gatas Camis. Connor Richard Giolongo. Quinton S. Gibbs. Glenna Gies. Kevin Neal Gifford. Connor Francis Gill. Shane Christopher Gindel. Lauren Alyssa Giordano. Sienna K. Giorgio. Katrina Giotsis. Salam Girum. Jeremy Charles Glick. Yavel Edward Glisco. Christopher Michael Godoski. Seth Goldman. Tiago Cerqueira Gomes. Silvana Gomez Carrera. Amanda Isabel Gonzalez. Grant T. Goodwin. Dana Marie Goulet. Nicole Jean Gravagna. Benjamin Davison Grigg. Samuel Grisales. Shirley Guan. Magdalene N. Guiney. David Matthew Halperin. Jason Gustafson. James Haddad. Oliver Maximilian Hanka. Taylor Giselle Haynes. Tyler Stone Halunen. Jose Francisco Guevara. Jared Christopher Hanna. Tyler Scott Hanrahan. Matthew William Hansen. Yu Hua Hao. Evan Thomas Hapkowitz. David Bonner Hardin III. Hassan Hassan. Joseph Anthony Hawkins. Nicole Orozco. Pablo Mena Fernandez. Rebecca Emily Hayes. Dania Elizabeth Hernandez. 
William Hebert. William Edward Heiberger IV. Caitlin Helfer. Cameron Oberon Heller. Peter Heaney. Lester Dario Henderson Nunez. Ryan Thomas Hughes. Andrew David Hickey. Zachary Stephen Hickey. Ryan Hickson. Brees Andrew Hill. Nicholas Sterling Hiller. William Hodgson. Alexis Ali Holland. Luke Joseph Holman. William Seward Holstein. Emma Rose Hans. Daniel Patrick Howard Jr. Die Ming Hu. Kui Yang Hu. Mu Ching Li. Jing Lin Hu. Xiao Tian Chu. An Kai Huang. Lin Huang. Dinan Lawrence Hughes. Matthew George Hunyadi. Nan Tu Huang. Robert Hines. Salvatore N. Ingracia. Nicholas Frederick Iskra. Maor Ita. David Izzo. Zoe Taylor Jackson. John V. Jane. Nandani Jen. Olivia Dorothy James. Gerard Jello. Ryan Matthew Jenkins. Olivia Marie Jensen. Karen Nahal Javeri. Gigi Jang. Maxwell Yoakum. Thomas David Johnston. 
Macy Laurel Jones. Sophie Elise Jones. Andrea Estefania Hordan Catan. Nicole Lena Caba. Scott Taylor Kamianeski. Josephine Alexandra Cantawiria. Olivia Eleni Capsimbellis. Justin Stephen Cottom. Peter Kasabob. Stephen James Katsikas. Chan Shaw Kazmi. Isaiah M. Keegan. Kaylee Cynthia Keenan. Nicholas Patrick Keenan. Margaret Rose Kehoe. Catherine Elizabeth Kenyon. Shane Daniel Kieran. Maxwell Jitak Kim. Naomi Kotari. Alexandria Renee Jonke. Julia Hope Marlin. Amaya Gianna Stephanie. Rachel Marie Kingsley. Alexander Michael Kinsella. Theodore John Kirby. Fraser James Allen Kirk. Ryan Thomas Kirk. Hayden Robert Kissler. Joseph Michael Kiwanis. Stephen Collat. Kayla Teresa Kniesel. Joel Francis Kochansky. Kelly B. Kerner. Stanley Joseph Kakaska. Jeffrey Michael Colmer. Andrew Charles Katrukas. Tierney Marie Kovacs. Caroline Christine Kremer. Maria Alexandra Cristanto. Olivia Grace Kulig. Gia Yawa Lam. Thomas James Lam.
Daniel Lanzaro, Mary Angela Larach Fada, Brian Lau, Christiana Lauridson, Nicholas Lucian LaBelle. Nicholas James Labinsky. Diamond Lee. Joshua J. Lee. Michael Yu Chen Lee. Ali Lehman. Derek Joseph Lendahl. Andrew Michael Lennox. Christian Lestick. Thomas William Latorno. Samantha Hope Lettieri. Zoe Rebecca Levin. Nicholas LaRue. Jia Wei Li. Marissa Li. Ding Yang Lin, Ryan Donald Lisk, Angela Liu, Jia Yu Liu, Peng Liu. Yi Ran Liu, Nicholas Samuel Lumi, Andrew Weston Lloyd, Connor Michael Long, Julia Constance Luby. Griffin D. Loomis. Isanel Luciano. Xiao Luo. Lauren Ann Lynch. Megan Isabel Lynch. Emily Garrity Lyons. Jesus. Nicole Yuening Liu. <laughs> Ning Tuan Ma. Matthew Mackin. Brennan Dante Maggio. Gayatri Ari Mahadui. Tara Ashley Mahajan. Declan Michael Maloney. Nick Hill R. Mulrani. Joseph Paul Manin the third. 
John Robert Manning. Ava Marco. Stephen Thomas Lupo. Damian Markov. Alina Aime Marmol Mora. Hunter Joseph Marshall. John Ambrose Marshall. Eliane Martinez. Barbara Valentina Martinez. Alessa Victoria Matuti Diaz. Javier Martinez. Antonia Martin Nucatola. Rachel Marvin. LaFaith Dauphine Massacoy. Emily Helen Mastrocola. Ashraf M. Mater. James Edward Matthews. Felipe Alberto Mayen Martinez. Tiana Maria Mazzaferro. Michael George McCauley. Ryan Patrick McCauley. Tara McBride. Tyler Dean McCallum. Aaron Michelle McCool. Nathan James McCracken. Ryan Nelson McDonnell. Kyle Thomas McDonough. Emily McGrath. Caitlin A. McWigan. Zachary McKay. Kyle M. McLean. Robert Neal McNeese. Matthew Presley Mead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Anthony James Madunio. Hartley Mayer. Alejandra Melkor. Aramis Melikian. Seamus Patrick Mellet. Connor McLeod Lewis Mellinger. Molly Camille Melville. Samantha Messier. Claire Mary Mazina. Nathan Alexander Michalak. Emilio Anthony Micucci. 
Brian Paul Miller. Rolando Antonio Miranda. Paolo Mirandola. Anisha Mishra. Prerina Sanjay Mystery. Maria Rose Malloy. Benjamin Malaznik. Kyle Edward Monahan. James Joseph Monday. Meredith Jane Monjo. Kevin James Montalti. Abigail Sandrina Montero. Brandon Monty. Harold F. Moody. Roma Moore. Amberlyn Julia Mott. Jessica M. Moy. Megan Elizabeth Moran. Emiliano Moreno Manzano. Clayton James Moseman. Elaine Leslie Moser. Wylan Moore. Nicholas Musa. Matthew Joseph Mukiri. Tiago Cody Muniz. Maria Victoria Munoz. Quinn C. Murdoch. Ashley Ann Murphy. David Patrick Murphy. Declan Christopher Murphy. Julia Emily Murphy. Kevin Joseph Murphy. Maxwell Wheelock Murphy. Christine Faye Murray. Reggie Musai. Henry Michael Muscara. Haruna Naata. Mariana Rose Nagengast. Laya Nagireddy. Tut Nine. Andres Augusto Name Leon. Jack Alexander Napolitano. Ivan Alexander Narvaez. Ryan Kingsfield Neal. Pedro Manuel Negron.
Kyle Matthew Nelson. Samantha Lee Nemorowski. Noah Quentin Neville. Matthew Ryan Newman. Shannon No. Nguyen Nguyen. Rebecca Lynn Nguyen. Tracy V. Nguyen. Megan Needswicky. Yorgos Nikolakis. Quinn Nylon. Ryan Joseph Noonan. Alexander Nobbins. Samuel Insana Sebagisha. Haley A. Obermeyer. Matthew Michael O'Brien. Mukusolu Kosisochukwu Obukwelu. Andrew O'Connor. Calvin O'Connor. Patrick N. O'Driscoll. Thomas Bryan O'Hire. Orealua Ojo. Folajimi Oluwaseen Olutiola. Evan Michael Omi. Divine Chinacherem Onyeziri. Kira Opila. Jose Enrique Ordaz Figueroa. Brendan Wesley O'Reilly. Lynette Ortiz. Lucas Thomas Ross Orishuk. Alexandra Osinski. Brandon Ostagai. Carlos Miguel Osuna. Alexandra Kendall Picat. Maria Alejandra Palacio Castillo. Sofia Eugenia Palis Van Prague. David Mark Ofer. Joseph Michael Palmerino. Yue Pan.
Connor Pandicio. Bruno F. Panettigrano. Jose Javier Pagan Lilly. Zachary Papsko. Q Bum Park. Alicia Patel. Harsh Patel. Steven Paulino. Isabella Muriel Pellegrini. Bennett Earl Pellegrino. Skyler Perkins. Connor R. Peters. William Peters. Joshua Timothy Peterson. Anthony Charles Patrizzi. John P. Patrizzi. Julia Mary Petroselli. J.T. Huyen Pham. Thomas Pham. Ryan Patrick Philibot. Matthew Damon Flager. Nicholas George Piandis. Melissa Pichardo. Joshua Pickleney. Joseph I. Paluski. Nisha S. Pillai. Madeline Rose Pillar. Jalenie Elizabeth Pimentel. Zeta Molina Pimentel Gamboa. Jake Steven Pinio. Dylan Pitera. Derek Montgomery Pitorino. Charlotte Grace Plackins. Romal Plaza. Samantha Plunkett. Ricardo Jose Ramos Perez. Spencer Colesworthy Poor. Jason Cannon Porter. Medha Prakash. Morgan Robert Pratt. Jacob Thomas Presnell. 
Tatia Prima Sami. Anthony Papalo. Matthew Condil. Janice Kwok. Aaron Edward Bruce Rackey. Nicholas Ratchko. Nina Ragoza. Mahin Rahman. Sharif Rahman. Ziang Rao. Christopher Rapson. Arafat Sheikh Rashid. Matthew Charles Rasmussen. Robert Nicholas Raymond. Grace Marie A. Rayner. Lillian Bell Reddish. Emma Regan. Nicole Regi. Monica Isabella Reyna. Kyle Anderson Repar. Emmanuel Resto. Gregory Jose Reyes. Drew Nello Ricciatelli. Evan Andrew Rice. Uh. Kyle Patrick Ritson. Javier Rivera. Matthew Vincent Rivnak. Keaton Rorick. Samantha Rodham. Caitlin Amelie Rodway. Justin Ariel Rosley. Elbin Rojas. Sydney Marie Romagnolo. Max Nicholas Renessi. Tiana Nicole Rossi. Ethan Roswell. Zachary Brock Rouleau. Catherine Rounds. Michael Kenneth Rao. Nicholas Royce. J. 
Jason Patrick Rubalata. Jeffrey Charles Russo. Lauren Rison. Nicholas Darren Ryan. Mark Sabino. Erickson St. Fort. Rigoberto Salvador Salazar. Nicole Christine Sock. Cole Sampson. Gabriel Reynaldo San Miguel. Meg Sanchez. George Sanders Lopez. Sarah Rose Santangelo. Tiffany Santibanez. Ellis Thomas Sartorio. Yoshinao Satake. Isaac Saunders. Ryan James Sawtell. John Henry Sawyer. Olivia Hope Scalise. Timothy Michael Scanlon. William Noel Schlagenhoff. Jason Lewis Schuld. Philippe Schweider Granzieri. Jonathan Michael Sears. Liam Patrick Sears. Lauren Taylor Segalini. George Nicholas Sikas. Edgar Semedo. Robert Vladimir Sergienko. Anna Helen Shatanian. Richa Pramila Shankar. Zachary Allen Shapiro. Faizan Sharif. Delaris Sharapov. Shreyas Sharma. Varun Sharma. Daniel Francis Sheehan. John Wolf Sheehan. Larissa Shelton. 
Clayton Shepardson. Renee Xu. Kelly Fallon Shields. Emily Blair Shortino. Shreyas Krishna Shrashta. Harry Robert Schumann. Guryash Singh. Harshpreet Singh. Jacob Matthew Sinat. John J. Six. Kate Marie Slow. Robert Martin Slawakowski. Malcolm John Smack. Jacob Thomas Smith. McKinley Madison Smith. Tristan Michael Smith. Walter Philip Smith. Jason Saccarellis. Nadia Marie Sun. Penelope Soto. Eleni Soliotis. Annalisa King Souza. Michael Philip Sparrows. Juliana Rose Spitzner. Lauren Kate Stahl. Matthew Joseph Stanton. Megan Stokes. Aiden Christopher Strain. Deandra Strickland. Ryan Charles Strobel. Matthew John Strunk. Corey Sullivan. John Richard Sullivan. Mary Christine Sullivan. Alexander T. Sutherland. Cameron Avery Swan. Mason Anthony Sweeney. Emily Jane Sweet. Emma Swenson.
Suha Syed. Ai Jing Tan. Tiffany Wing Yen Tan. Timothy Tat. Scott Tatro. Emma Joanna Taylor. Michael Aiden Taylor. Sarah Tay. Jonathan Cresnanto Tejakusuma. Yulia Bella Temnerod. Tony Thane. Rick Angelo Therian. Christopher Tomasian. Michael Thompson. Emily Lee Tew. Lindsay Toya. Samir Talani. Paula Veronica Toro Apollo. Daniel Raul Torres Guillermo. Paula Torres Intriago. Lynn Tran. John Robert Travia. Robert James Tringali. Katie Trong. Marcos Sakiris. Adrian Marie C. Sean Patrick Tully. Carlos N. Tsunux Pineda. Felipe Umania. Gregory Umansky. Elda Alejandra Urdaneta Cordido Freites. Melissa Urena. Ramon Enrique Urena Rosario. Lucas C. Vady. Daniel Valenzuela Gomez. David Van Busicum. 
Melania Andrea Vargas Gurdian. Elizabeth Marie Varnum. Christopher J. Barone. Jose Ramon Vega. Ria Gurudas Vengerlakar. Kyle Robert Ventura. Alondra Yvette Ventura. Jose Vera de la Valle. Lauren Verano. Pedro W. Viana. Nathaniel Ville. Colton Stephen Vining. Faye Aiden Viscosi. Kaylee Francis Vogel. Karen Vora. Sarah Josephine Voida. Robert Codino Vose. Isabella Grace Wakeman. Brendan Robert John Walcom. Mitchell James Walters. Ju Wan. Christopher Hugh Wang. Duo Wang. Iran Wang. Emma O. Waldor. Zachary H. Wong. Zichi Wong. Emma Yael Wardakovsky. Michael Ryan Watkins. Jalen Demetrius Watson. Francis John Way. Mason Scott Webb. David Jacob Weber. David John Weisenbach. Sabrina Wen. Devin S. Wendell. Reardon Patrick West Geary. Jole Whitney.
Christopher Charles Wilson. William Twenty Wong. Brett Harrison Woods. Brian Alexander Wright Kinsey. Joanna Shing. James Kun Shu. Ming Hong Shu. No. Pei Lu Yang. Yi Nuo Shu. Omer Yaya. Sophia Yan. Albert Stefan Yildirim. Hanji Yin. Li Yang Yu. Rosmielta Guilanda Yuyute. Yu Yuan. Lauren Ewan. Joseph Henry Zablocki. Joseph Townsend Zand. Costanza Zavala. Zachary Allen Zimmel. Andrew Anthony Zesk. Yi Min Jong. Zi Wei Jong. Yafei Zhao. Zhu Fang Zhang. Raymond Zhou. Yu Ting Zhou. Chi Ming Ju Vazil Zisi Ji Xiang Zhou Yue Miao Ju John Thomas Zizadoro. Mark Nicholas Zoda. Jamie Zhao. Kevin Yu Hao Zhou. Rachel Zuckerberg.
So President Kreit, it's our pleasure and honor to present to you the members of the class of 2022. They work diligently in the classroom and beyond to secure a Bentley education. And with the support of the faculty and trustees of this institution, I'm honored to present them to you. Will the degree candidates please rise and remain standing if able. Your tassel should be on the right side of your cap. The right side of your cap. President Kreit, please recognize the graduates. Thank you. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Board of Trustees of Bentley University, and by reason of your having fulfilled all of the requirements prescribed by the faculty and trustees, I pronounce you graduates of Bentley University and holders of the degrees indicated with all the related rights privileges and responsibilities. Welcome to the ranks of Bentley University alumni, a community that is 67,000 strong. Wherever your career and life take you, be assured that your fellow alumni will be there to support you and celebrate you once again. Congratulations. With that, you are now graduates of Bentley University. As a symbolic gesture of your scholastic and professional achievements, will all the new graduates please take the tassel of your cap and move it from the right to the left side. Congratulations to the class of 2022. You may be seated. Thank you for joining us here today to both celebrate the achievements and to recognize the potential of the class of 2022. Before we conclude the ceremony, I invite Chuck Copa, class of 1985 and president of the Global Alumni Board, to the podium for this year's presentation of the Harry C. Bentley Award. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the 67,000 fellow alumni, we congratulate you and the Board of Directors of the Global Alumni Board. One of the distinct honors bestowed upon the Global Alumni Board is the uh, privilege of selecting and awarding the annual Harry C. Bentley Award. This award was established to recognize alumni and alumna who embodied the tenets of our founder, achieving, one of the, achieving success in one of the following areas, professional, personal, community, or school. I'd say all three boxes were easily checked off this year. I'd like to ask Terry Carlton, long-standing trustee and member of the class of 77 to come forward. I've known Terry for almost 10 years, and in my opinion, selecting Terry was one of the easiest decisions that the GAB ever had to make during the six years that I've been here. Terry started his career at Kidder Peabody and followed by nearly two decades at Hill Holiday, where he served as executive VP before joining USB Financial Services. Terry has served on multiple boards and nonprofit boards, where he assumed multiple leadership roles. Terry, a 1986 inductee into Bentley's Hall of, uh, Athletic Hall of Fame, has been a trustee for the past 22 years, serving as chairman for seven of those years and acting president as two, uh, for two of those years. Terry's leadership on the Board of Trustees exemplifies the attributes that Bentley holds dear. He has given selflessly, 
his time, insight, vision, and financial support to the Bentley community for many years. On behalf of the Global Alumni Board, the entire Bentley community, it's my honor to present the Harry C. Bentley Award to Terry Carlton. Thank you, Chuck, and congratulations, Trustee Carlton. Graduates, go forth and join the ranks of Bentley alumni doing great things for their communities. Be a force for positive change. We know that opportunity and success await you. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Bentley's Uni Bentley University's 2022 commencement is now concluded. We would like to thank the Boston Brass Ensemble for their musical accompaniment today. Before the ceremony concludes, I have some brief announcements before you start moving away. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and officers of the university, I invite the graduates and all guests to a reception on the South Campus green space for light refreshments. Shuttle buses will be available throughout the afternoon and are located near the Bentley Arena. On my own behalf and that of all Bentley faculty and staff, thank you for your cooperation this morning. Now I ask one last thing. Would the audience please remain seated during the recessional and keep all the aisles clear until the last graduate has exited?